so wow so Maruf leaves Final Destination on the table and Sofria bans it I wonder Very if that's strange is that interesting yeah I mean Sheik does so well against Luigi in general and especially when Luigi doesn't have a platform movement like FD is a really bad stage for him. I played a bait recently and I chose FD and he changed to Captain Falcon. <laughs> That's how much he doesn't like that stage and I think you know most of the Luigi's feel the same well, way. Well you're also nice guy in this play. Tuffy missed the uh, wave line there. That, that's everybody in this room does that. <laughs> so we do not know how to like that. <laughs> we need to set one day aside to just practice it. Absolutely. We actually have, it still hasn't worked. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, it looks like Moves really paying for it because uh, he, he's getting some damage on this stock. Free mood trolling in the chat. I like it. Alright. Karate chop. Simple, that's all you need to do. I think a lot of people try to get too fancy with their chic edge guards, but as long as you just make them land on the stage with their up B, it's really easy to come up with a forward smash like that. So big percent deficit here, and this could be a stop. Oh, the misfire. It's okay. Oh, almost edge cancel. And he gets another misfire. Amazing. Looking like a CPU. I swear to God, when uh, when Zofia hit him off, I was gonna say that's okay. He's gonna misfire. <laughs> Move misfire too fast. Mm. Getting that shield pressure, but Zofia escapes with a roll. That's one thing you want to look for when you're doing shield pressure. Obviously, there's like certain uh, combinations of moves that you're going to be doing, but you want to be able to interrupt those if you notice that they're getting scared and trying to roll out of it. Because that's kind of the whole point of shield pressure. Is not obviously it's not to break their shield, which is would be nice if it happened, but it's to get them to do a risky move to try to escape the pressure. So if they spot dodge a roll, you want to be ready for that. Ooh, nice karate chop charges his up B. Or down B. It's still looking kind of grim, but we've seen Maruf zero to death Zofria before. Oh. Okay. Not if he... That's the Zofria where you just forward air the bottom blast line. <laughs> so game one goes to Zofria over here. Uh, is this at NJIT? Yes, sir, it is. New Jersey Institute of Technology. In case you don't know. You probably do. It's kind of evident. Anyway. It's not on like it's not like right, in New York. Stadium it's an MJT. Right, yeah. This will be better we'll for Luigi. Sheik will have less follow-ups with these platforms, and of course, the huge stage gives him a lot more recovery options. Yeah, I, I would actually ban the stage against Luigi. Yeah. Yeah, I always do. There's like a quick stock right there. Wow. Okay. Um, Got his down B charge, ready to go. That grab is what Zofria needed, and he's getting a lot of percent on it. That, that down B actually combos. That, that's a thing. <laughs> I'm like, why Why is that move bad again? It's almost fun. That's right, get off my so ledge. Important. Get off my ledge, Zofria. Now this is my edge guard. Wow, just like that. Look at that. Yeah, you gotta. Luigi has tricks. He can up air you when he's below you, when trying to recover. He can shoot that fireball. You gotta be ready for it, otherwise you get caught like that. But even the high ceiling of Dreamland doesn't save him from that up air. Holy shit! Hey, fly. Um, <laughs> he was he was referring to Luigi's down B. Seem, it seems to have so many uh, so many good uses. It's hard to think of why it's considered not a good move. I don't know if it is considered not a good move. Yeah, I, I think I it's just that Luigi is you know, considered not a great character. <laughs> and that trade works out. Oh, see, like that would be a perfect. Okay, all right. All right. We're tying it up. Go. See, what I think happened is that the combined power of the ice climber commentary just brought upon the fly Amanita into this chat. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, it's unsafe on Crouch Hands on Shield. Right. Oh, good edge guard. That's so awesome. The, like, this oh, has never happened before. String it's a of force. Up yeah, so, um. Do you know if uh, Nair, if Luigi's Nair trades with up air? With the uh, Sheik's up air? I think it does. I would think it doesn't. Isn't that a disjointed hitbox? Um. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it is. I mean, we, t we definitely look at hitboxes, you know. And, it, and Luigi's Nair is actually pretty destroyed. And I, and I guess, uh. We can ask a bait about it too. Because <laughs> he's here too. Oh shit. He can spit some Luigi knowledge for us. Got a bit. So the Luigi drew in a bait. We drew in fly. It's pretty great. Any any pro chic players want to come out of the woodwork here? Four tilt to get him off and wow. Right, good. Okay, okay that's what I was talking about in an earlier match where uh, he. Where, when he was playing against Curb, and he kind of just held on the ledge. But now, like, going down and getting that back air, that's great to interrupt their recovery. Because I think not only with when you're recovering, you want to mix it up, you know, so that they can't get a read on how how you're going to recover and they can't get the easy edge guard. But I think also mixing up your edge guards is really good so that you get them in a habit of thinking particular recoveries are safe. Um, and then you can do something like that, where he hadn't done that the whole match, and then when he did it, it caught Zofria off guard, and then won him the game. Alright, here we go, here's the story. Oh, did the scores not save? There we go. Alright. Oh! Ooh, didn't oh. get quite, quite enough of a jump there to get that downer to connect. Uh, Mura flex to shield pressure with uh, like down air to nair, but he did that nair too high. Wow. Good read on that recovery. Yeah, we got some good combos going from the roof. It's so funny, uh, John was really salty last time he lost the roof. Oh, that happened recently? Yeah, um, a COA 6. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got on commentary wow, and just <laughs> exuded salt. Oh, okay. Ooh, so he went a little too early with that back here. And then dropped the edge guard and gained a bunch of percent for it. That down there is like his go-to edge guard. I guess it's the best option. Oh, Randall, making things interesting. Interesting, and well, let's just say we should we should be move Randall. Petition. And a forward, forward, up throw back there doesn't really lead a whole lot, but he's getting some percent here. Oh, okay, gets the spike. Okay. Good tech, Chase. Oh. See, that's what I mean. Like, he's been, he's done that for that edge guard three times in a row. And so now Zofri is expecting it, is ready for it. Oh, Randall. Oh, uh, <laughs> he, he always does that. Wow, yeah, it's. 